A few days ago, I got a comment on my Spanish channel. I obviously have a Spanish channel. I'll leave it below if you want to check it out somehow. And it was about this blouse. I wore it while I did the presentation of the yellow skirt, the Queen's Gambit skirt. And a girl asked me if I had a tutorial on this one. It's not mine. And I thought, well, I can clone it, that is enough because I have the panels and I can do the same on another piece of material. But I wouldn't be able to explain um, how to do it if you don't have the original. So why? Because it has these princess seams that I've never done. So I'm quite intrigued and I thought, well, it's a good opportunity to know, to get to know darts a bit better. So for now, come on, she doesn't want to leave. So I have my glasses and I'm going to get all the pattern books out to see what I can figure out. So I have all my books on the dart sections and I also have here my block of measurements and the thing is that when I did this I didn't add any darts and I haven't added any darts to any of my garments since because I think I've, I haven't been sewing things very, very tight I guess, I don't know. I haven't done any darts. I've done them before, but uh, modeling on the mannequin, draping it, which is really easy because you have a 3D model and uh, it tells you where it needs uh, tacking in or uh, where it has too much fabric and you just pin it and it's really enjoyable. So let's see what I can learn about this. The thing is that I'm going to have to make a new one just to go straight down and this difference is the one I'm going to subtract from the dart, I'm guessing. But the problem I'm having is that I don't know where to put the, the bust dart because on this book says, and I quote, Locate the position of the new dart on the armhole anywhere that appeals to your eye. Well, that's fine to me, but isn't it a bit more... I don't know. Just remember that a longer line at an angle is more graceful than a squat horizontal line. So, anywhere I want, and that's it. That's the end of that. And then I have this book. I have a love-hate relationship with this book because when I was making a sleeve there was an F I couldn't find mm, and it's like very uh, strict, very uh, scientific. This one is more, it's really easy to understand and to follow and it's like just cut the fabric and you can do it and don't worry. It has slopers. So, it's really easy, but this one is like made for, I don't know, it's like if you were going to a, a professional uh, dressmaking class and this lady was teaching you. So, my problem is that it has measurements that um, uh, she thinks you know and I don't know. I don't know. And I think it's because uh, the body is proportional and uh, you have things that are equivalent to others and things like that. So she just tell you divide this by an eighth or add two centimeters out of nowhere and I, I struggle. So, but the thing is that when she makes the, the block, uh, she draws a straight line all the way from the shoulder to the waist. And that's what I didn't do. 
Mine it has a diagonal because I measured the waist and I did it without any darts. So I guess that I'm going to make a new one and from this diagonal I can have the measurement of the dart, I guess. No? But my problem is that I can't find where to add the bust darts because if this one tells you just to add them mm, whatever you please and but this one has another line drawn here cross back and front line what is that and it is it's 7.2 centimeters above the bust why 7.2 So that is cross back line. I looked for it and it's just a measurement above your bust. You have your bust measurement and then on top, just on your bra line, you have this one and it says it is 7.2. Is that for anyone? I can't, that's, that's my problem, I can't really, that blows my mind. So I'm going to mark my block with a pen. Now that I have this line, the diagonal from this line to the past uh, highest point, which is the maple basically, it's a nice way to say it, uh, is your dart. Uh, <laughs> that was a struggle. Okay, so this will be the cross line and from this point to the highest uh, past point it's where we get the uh, dart. The princess seam is one that combines the bust dart with the um, uh, waist dart, waist dart. And what I have to figure out, well, the waist dart is easy enough because with the half body section, you just have to, again, divide by half and that will be the middle. Just straight down from your highest bust area point. And the thing I have to figure out is what I have to cut because you'll need both to be cut. So I'm going to make another block with all the different darts cut in and I'll cover it in plastic like this one. So this is my old block, it's just a block with nothing and it has the measurement of the waist and the bust and I didn't do anything else really. So now the new one has as well the arm to arm line, the cross uh, line and from this one you can then add the one to the, the dart to the bust. From the highest point of the dust of the bust from the highest point of the bust to this line you can get your dart and then the waist dart is really easy because you just uh, need a straight line from your bust uh, down to your waist with the same uh, width and what I did is that I already got that line was in here in between these two because I already uh, calculated my dart which it was the difference between these two which was three centimeters each side and now that I still have this uh, here open I'm going to make a block of my back because I don't have one and I've been told before that I should because your back it's a bit smaller than your front so that way uh, everything fits better. Once you have your front bodies, uh, not bodies, your front block, 
it's easier to trace the second one with the measurement from your neck to your waist and your bust divided by two uh, you get this uh, rectangle and then you can use the this one to create or to trace these two lines the armhole line and the arm to arm line so that's easy enough and from that you can trace your armholes and then to trace the way starts uh, I thought I was being really clever because I couldn't find anywhere uh, how much I needed to cut so I thought well if this is my bust measurement it's more than the waist measurement so I subtracted that and then I took it from the darts the darts go from the waistline to the first line we draw and we have to center them from the center back uh, to the sides we are going to divide by two and that line is going to be the dart so I was mm, really proud of myself because I thought it was really logical thinking and then I just saw it here on the book I was right but it was there I didn't think I didn't have to think that much it was all there but that's good that makes your brains work so now that I have the front and well front and back block with darts please let me know down in the comments if you know what I'm doing <laughs> if this makes any sense because I have books I've been looking through the internet and of course there's a theory but there's different ways to explain it so it's difficult to reach a conclusion it looks good to me I don't know and because I'm not entirely sure of what I'm doing and this is new I'm going to make a 12 I've never made twirls, I just cut on my fabric, on the fabric I'm going to use and it is the mock-up, it is a try thing uh, without zippers or anything um, no zippers or anything, just uh, something to try it on and see if the darts are okay, if the measurements are right so I have a piece of material I can use for that, so let's do that. Wow, so many meters. I didn't remember I had bought so much. Hmm? So it's an IKEA cotton, it's the cheapest thing ever. It's like 3 euros or 2.99 euros a meter, something like that and it's just a simple cotton, it's not even treated, it's just mm, there so I bought it for that, to just practice and start making twirls from time to time I hope you can see it well on camera, I'm pinned to the bodies, to the block bodies and uh, it looks okay, I'm surprised, it looks nice, um, it has a nice fitting and uh, now I have to take into account when I do the pattern to leave more space, more seam allowance and all that but I wanted to see if what I did about the darts was okay if the measurements were alright and it looks like it so I'm quite pleased with it so I'm going ahead to trace my pattern for the blouse and see how we do with the help of your blocks you're going to trace around them leaving some seam allowance and cutting your fabric Sew in your darts fair so you can sew together front and back. For the collar you're going to need a rectangle of fabric and sew it as if it were a waistband. 
and the sleeves need to be sewn by the sides before putting them right sides together with your blouse and hemming the whole piece. And one thing I'm going to make sure is to mark the middle, just halfway the pattern so it's not twisted or anything because it's stripy material and if not it'll look terrible. I didn't realize the camera ran out of battery while I was cutting the back so but it's just really easy it was simply I did it with the block and it's really easy because you just uh, then after sewing the darts you can sew the shoulders together and the sides with the front so I'm going to hem it and I'm going to do the neckline this is really easy to do this color uh, it's just a rectangle of fabric and I think it's going to be easy because then it's just sewn like a waistband will be. So that's easy enough and I measure it and it is 89 centimeters and I have, I've been recollecting pieces, scraps and I have 88. How are you going to do the sleeves if you don't have enough even for the collar? Silly me. So, uh, I don't have enough fabric. That's one of my things I have to um, learn to do is to know how much stuff, how much fabric I need for something because I, I have no idea. And then the other thing is that uh, this blouse has a back zipper that I haven't attached because uh, I chose a fabric that has a bit of stretch so I can get it on and off easily and that's another thing I should learn a bit more about fabrics because I think this was a bit risky to do this without knowing if it was going to work or not so I'm going to hem it, do the neckline and hem the armholes and this will be finished but because the original has sleeves and I wanted to make sleeves I've been making another one <laughs> in white it's the same, I've done the same steps, it's the same pattern, everything same but I have a bit more fabric not that much but a bit more so I think I can get the sleeves from here and the collars, I'm going to call them collars I'm going to cut a little bit the corners so I can put them dry sides out easily and that way I get a sharp edge and that way I get a sharp edge While I was trying to sew the collar, I realized it was much easier if I first ironed it and pressed it. So I did that and that made my job um, a lot easier. I quite like the shape. It's really nice, really summery and I think it's going to look great. And this is the other one. Uh, I tried to do the same with the collar, but this one wouldn't let me... It, it, I pressed but it didn't do anything to it it's quite a I don't know what material this is it's light but it is thick but really nice and I've already hem it and do everything that needed to be done except for the sleeves that's what we're going to do now make the sleeve in other occasions I've used the, the armhole of the garment I'm making 
to trace it. It hasn't gone wrong, but let's do it with measurements and learn something or try to do something different. So, um, I'm going to measure around my arm. I'm going to measure the length I'm going to give it from the shoulder and then the inside as well. If you don't have one of these, you can just uh, draw by hand the curve and I, right in the middle, I measured the, the length of the sleeve from the shoulder down and then I marked the front with an arrow and this bit, apparently, it's a bit more, uh, has this shape and then the other one has the shape, the opposite. This is the finished sleeve and because I don't have much fabric, I'm going to make a twirl with the I had to take my jumper off to try this on, but it looks okay, I think. So I'm going to cut the good fabric. I have my sleeves here, see how they have a different cut, so you have to be careful uh, which side is the front and which side is the back, so you don't saw them twisted. And now I'm going to put them inside the, the blouse, uh, right sides together, so I don't get it wrong. You can see my blouse is wrong size out and it's because I want to put the sleeves in. The sleeves are right sides out, so the right sides are together inside. And I'm going to put them in with pins so they don't move. And sew them really carefully all around it. And now that I'm pinning it together, I'm thinking, I'm seeing the princess seam and I'm thinking which side the seam should be, like when I saw the armhole, everything will be sewn together. So I was looking at this one and this one has the seam going up instead of down. I don't know if there's a theory about that or if it looks nicer or what, but I'm going to do it like that because I'm copying it, so... I've just tried it on, I'm really happy with it and now that I know that everything fits and I don't have to uh, do anything else I'm going to zigzag stitch it to secure it and then I'll hem the sleeves just making a double hem trying to make it as thin as possible And this is the blue one, it's really nice, I'm really pleased with it. Even though I didn't have enough fabric to make the sleeves, I think it's really nice and I think I'm going to use it a lot in summer because it has this mm, sailor pattern, so it's really nice, the stripes. But the white one, look at this, it's amazing, I'm so pleased with it, it's beautiful. Look at the sleeves, look at everything, it's like, I, I'm a, an air hostess or I came out of a Jackie Kennedy film, isn't it good? I'm really happy with both of them, I really am. And I want to say that uh, I'm not a seamstress, I'm not a dressmaker, I'm not anything. I'm just learning as I go and this video has been a bit challenging when I thought about cloning this one and or making one from scratch I thought oh my god this is going to be so difficult princess sims I've never done anything similar 
but it's been quite enjoyable. It's been a bit stressful because I didn't know what I was doing, but I'm learning and that's the good thing about it. And that's what I want to, to tell you, that if I can and I don't know anything, everyone can. So just have a go and try because it was really easy to do. The princess seams were really easy to sew, the same as the sleeves and the collar. It has no problem at all and it looks really fancy. And the materials were really nice to sew as well. Uh, it was a bit risky because they are stretchy and I didn't know if the princess seams will go okay with it, if, the, if they will stretch while cutting or sewing these curves but I didn't have any problems at all and it's quite funny because even though I cut them at the same time following the same pattern and doing the same this one looks a lot more structured than the navy blue one and it's because well fabrics mm, behave differently and I think it's quite interesting how you can do something with the same pattern and they look mm, they don't look alike. Well, they do look alike, but they don't look the same. So just have a go at it. I think it's it's been quite enjoyable, a bit difficult at first, but I've had a good time doing it and the result is amazing, I think. And of course, because the girl who commented on the blouse is because he, she had been watching the yellow skirt video. Uh, here are a few images with the skirt so you can see how it looks together. I just realized I didn't say goodbye, so thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything next week, bye! Mira, quedó 